Hey guys, so I'm coming at you with another quick and dirty video. Today I have John Snyder from Electronic Audio Experiments. We're gonna run through a few of his designs. He's gonna talk about it and uh, I'll just let him take it away. Thanks, Corey. Um, so yeah, we have three pedals in mind today. Uh, we have the inverter drive, which is a one knob uh, CMOS distortion. We have the Mojo Titan, which is a project board that I sell based on the Damn Sonic Titan. And then finally we have the Mew Blaster, which is a clean boost design of mine, which uses a 27 volt uh, boost converter and uh, JFETs for a, a, a boost with a lot of headroom and dynamics, but also the ability to really slam the front end of your amp. Um, so first, we will be going through the inverter drive. Um, my guitar is a TB, Travis Bean TB1000S, and we'll be going into the Electronic Audio Experiments Arcanist prototype, which is an amplifier that's based on old Vox, Orange, and Sun designs, using an EF86 input tube, 12 AX7s for gain staging and recovery, a Baxendahl equalizer, and KT88s for the output. So first, the inverter drive. Here's the clean tone. So the single control is just for the volume of the effect. There are internal gain and tone controls, which I've set uh, optimally for this instrument, but can be adjusted to your preference. Word. And that is the inverter drive. Yeah, let's go right into the, the uh, Mojo Titan, man. So next up, we have the Mojo Titan. Um, the Mojo Titan uh, has three controls. We have gain, tone, and volume. Uh, the gain control sets the gain at the input of the circuit via a booster. Uh, the tone is a simple filter on the output, and the volume uh, really has a huge amount of range. Uh, the, the Titan circuit is basically a gain stage going into a very small power amplifier, and when you overdrive this, it has a really massive distortion. So here it is. So as you can see, it gets pretty heavy, but it cleans up nice too. And that is the Mojo Titan. All right, and finally we have the Mew Blaster. So the Mew Blaster, as I said before, has uh, an extreme amount of headroom. Um, it can swing uh, well over 14 volts peak to peak at the output, which really lets you drive your amp very hard. Um, so the, the controls for this are volume boost and filter, and then depth. Uh, volume is pretty self-explanatory. There's a huge amount of range on tap. Boost is like a gain and presence control tied together. As you turn it up, not only do you get more distortion, but you also get some nice high-end harmonics. The filter control then lets you tame those harmonics if you want a darker sound. The depth control uh, sets how much low frequency is passed from the first stage to the second stage. If you have it set to a low setting, uh, the pedal has a more trebly character. Um, as you crank it up, there's a lot of low end that gets added in, which is great for bass players. So I'm gonna start with a lower gain setting um, with the filter wide open and the depth all the way at, at minimum. So there's a nice smooth overdrive to that. Um, as we crank up the boost and volume controls, it gets a lot more intense. So I'm going to increase the depth control now to show you how much low end the circuit is capable of. And finally, 
finally, I'm gonna run it full bore to show you what it's really capable of. And that is the Mew Blaster. So how fast uh, can I blow up my pedals with this thing? Well, crank it all the way up and your Behringers can become Behringer fireworks. Like the ramps? <laughs> <laughs> um, word, dude. Uh, well, definitely thanks for, uh, for helping me out with this video. Um, if you guys want to check out all of his stuff, I'll have all his links in the description below. Um, if you want to check out my other social media, you can follow me at all those links down there as well. I also have my Amazon affiliate link now, which will uh, help support this channel and my blog and everything else I do. Um, basically, give me money to buy more of his stuff. And then, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was great. Thanks a lot, Corey. Yeah, thanks. thanks See you in the next video.